Thank you for joining us for today's video training. Today, we will perform a general overview of the Concord fax solution. There are several steps that you will need to take in order to configure the fax setup for the first time. Once set up, you will not need to perform these steps again unless you are using another workstation. You only need to perform these steps as sending a fax. You will receive the faxes automatically as a member of a distribution group assigned to your department or branch's fax number. Okay, so let's begin with setting up Outlook in order to send a fax. First, if Outlook is not already running, click to open it. Once running, choose New Email as if you were sending a normal email. In the New Email dialog box, choose Options on the top and then choose From. You will now see the From box. Choose the arrow next to From and then choose Other Email Address. Once you get the Send from other email address dialog box, simply type in fax and choose OK. Here you will be presented with all the fax accounts within RIGS. You will need to be sure and only choose the fax account that is associated to your branch or department level if you're in Little Rock or Corporate. I know that I am a member of the Corporate IT fax, so I'm going to choose that and click OK. Immediately, you can see that I now have fax corporate IT at JA Rigs as an option when I choose the front box. You will see whatever department or branch level fax account that you are now a member of. So now you are ready to send a fax. I'm going to close out of this dialog box just so we can start from scratch and see the steps in order to actually send a fax. In order to send a fax, all you have to do is choose new email as if you were doing a normal email. From the drop down box, you will then choose the account that we previously set up. You will type in your subject. And then you will type in any details within the body of the email that you would like to show up on the cover sheet that's automatically appended to the fax that you're sending. Once you type in the body, then all you have to do is add your attachment like you would a normal email. I'm going to do that by dragging and dropping the attachment onto the email. All that's left is to enter the phone number in which you need to send the fax to. To do that, you just click on the two box and then type in your, your fax number. For example, I'm going to send this to So that's the phone number that I'm sending to, and then you have to append at concordsend.com. Once appended and finished up, all you have to do is click send. And that's it. You will get a confirmation that the fax has been received as in, and is in the queue within the Concord fax system. You will then get a second confirmation if the fax was sent successfully or if there was an error. If you have any issues, please contact the RIGS Help Desk by submitting an issue on helpdesk at jarigs.com, sending an email to helpdesk at jarigs.com, or by dialing extension 3333 from any phone within the RIGS corporate network. Thank you and have a great day.